What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Conker's Bad Fur Day Blind. In the last episode, we had quite the spooky session with a, a vampire, a Dracula-inspired squirrel, and it was pretty interesting to say the least. We fought some zombies with shotguns, we turned into a bat and carried villagers so that they could be eaten by the vampire. It was, it was quite the ordeal. And it was a pretty cool environment that I enjoyed quite a bit. But when we came back here, all of a sudden we were getting drafted. We were getting recruited for the military. And in the middle of the night, the only place that's lit up is now this area. Finally available. Wonder what it's going to be. <laughs> it's wartime. I really like the aesthetic of what they use to introduce this area. Okay. Bunch of blocks, plenty of chocolate. Oh, is that cannon fire? <laughs> a little submarine with a googly eye. Yikes. Well, that's a rather unfortunate fate. Damn, boy. He sure is lucky bastard to survive that atrocious <laughs> Come over here now, sonny. Clean hood. That's good. Forward, nice line. Oh, there's only one of you. Right, sonny. We have a problem. Oh, a dirty boat must arrive at <laughs> Conker's like, what did I get myself yeah. into? Oh, a twenty-five. Wait. Oh. Oh. Oh, a oh shit. Tell you what. <laughs> that shit. You send it on back of a sauce for kind of guy. I don't care much for the a tire, but let's see if you can redeem yourself. Here's the mission. You may accept it as you wish. One, clear the way. We have got to get our men out of here pronto. We just got a war to fight. Two, clear the way. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> that shit. What are you waiting for, <laughs> This son? character is so funny. Get that damn thing out of there. Right, see you in the boat. I don't know what happened to... <laughs> I don't know what happened to... <laughs> I don't know what I've been. Oh, f that shit. <laughs> that character's hilarious. Okay, so obviously we saw in the background there was some TNT. There's. Wow, this place looks rather expansive. What the heck is that? It looks like it's gonna be some sort of mine that is gonna run after us. Admittedly, I doubt we can actually go over there yet, or we probably can, but I'd imagine we're going to have to go over with the TNT to blow things up. Is this screw relevant? No, I don't think so. Is there maybe a context-sensitive button we can use over here? No? Okay. Anything in the water doesn't look like it, although I heard some electricity, which doesn't spell well for any anybody in the water, that is. And we have a little bit of a ship over there. That's the boat that I think they were talking about. And over here, we have these blocks that are moving around in quite a few different ways. I don't know if I can attack them or not. Probably not, if I had to guess. Let's go up this way and see what's back here that's labeled, you know, TNT. You can only wonder, right? It's a large bathroom? What? Oh my. You've got a problem. Uh, hi, hi there, little fella. I, I, are you the janitor? I, I don't suppose you have any, uh, uh, like, toilet? Oh no. Uh, no, I'm not the janitor. And could we please have this conversation somewhere else? I, I think I'm starting to gag. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a bit of a problem, and, and it's kind of like, oh, uh, yeah, well, I'll come out now. I, 
I, I, I seem to have this thing attached to my back. I, I, I can't. It looks like you're it. holding it there with the straps. Oh, uh, you need more about that. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh. I, 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 I'm a little tired. Could you give me a hand? Just get around back there and, you know, give me a hand. Huh. Well, I don't know if I'd want to go around back there. But, all right, I mean. Are we, what even are we, how do I, okay, so it's, it kind of, kind of controls like the, like the various things you have to roll throughout the game. What are those sound effects? No, 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 stop! Oof. Well, that didn't go as planned. Is there gonna be another one? Oh my goodness, are they gonna respawn? Is there a different cutscene? What? <laughs> Congress, like I've done this before. We gotta get to business and fast. All right. So we'll do. The real question is, how do we do things differently uh, from last time? So I can like do this. He's gonna run. Get ahead of him. Get ahead of him and to stop him. Oh man. Okay. So we've seen that before. Can I move these blocks? I can, and that is the solution. What a sound effect! What a sound effect that was. <laughs> My ears could have done without that one. Okay, out comes our friend again. Alright, come on, come on, we gotta get to work. Looks like he's doing a little bit of like a patty cake back there. Something funny. Alright. He runs into that. Now the question is, do we want to go to the left or the right? I'll just sit here. I think we're honestly going to have to go to the left. If those bombs that I saw on the right are any indication, we're not going to have a lot of time to run away from them. So I think we're going to need to try this. Oh no, don't crush him. I'll oh, you know what? I bet I need to, um... Oh. Whoa, that was close. Did that hit me? I don't think so. Let's see. It seems like they're going in a clockwise pattern. Come on. Can I, can I get this guy to get out of here now? I can. Oh, alright. We're gonna chill here for a moment. And now we get ready to I'll get going here. again. Come on, man. We got to roll. Oh. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, I think we're in the clear. All right. Oh, Let's take man. a second. Nope, nope, nope. Stop. Okay, so they are just going straight up, I'll I think. And we've got quite a bit of time. A lot more than I actually expected. Oh. Can I change the camera? Does not seem so. So we will actually... Oh. No! I thought he was going to keep coming towards me a little bit further, and then I'd have to go back. All right. We'll head on back. Do it again. I guess i got to be more, more patient. Not the end of the world. I'm curious to see what the, like, main conflict of this area is going to be, right? So we're going to blow up that plane. We're going to go out, you know, the ship. is going to be something like, I don't know, the beaches of Normandy or whatever. Just curious to see what, you know, creative cutscene the game came up with for this one. Alright. No, 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 no. Don't, don't. Don't get hit. Okay, lovely. So let's see here. Can I move fast enough 
to just follow these and be okay. It seems like it. That's good to know. So I'm not gonna have to stomp in the middle for a lot of those. This guy, I don't know. It's a little bit iffy if I'll make it in time, so we'll play it safe. All right, let's get rocking and rolling. Oh. All right, so next up we have these guys. I am gonna take this one more safely because last time it didn't seem to work out as well and they definitely seem to be moving more quickly than the previous one. Oh. Don't you guys agree? Come on, I, I'm gonna have such a tough time just like trying to reorient him. No, 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 no! <sighs> I was just trying to get so he would turn around and actually face outwards so I could do something. But I guess that's the name of the game. We'll try again and hope for the best. But yeah, I wonder I wonder how much money there is left in the game. Just because after doing the, the whole spooky dealio, we only got a hundred dollars, right? In some of the earlier levels we got a ton of cash. Like five hundred, six hundred dollars of cash, but now, I mean, we got close to nothing for what seemed like a pretty gameplay-intensive segment, right? I don't know if I want to, yeah, go with that cycle. So we'll wait a second, and now we go. Okay. Attempt number three coming up soon, guys. I'll just sit here. No, 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 you can't sit yet. How do they even get these guys, right? <laughs> With the TNT barrels on their back? How do they just respawn in the bathroom? Without any knowledge of what's on their back. That's pretty unfortunate. Oh. Alright, keep going. We're just gonna we're gonna run for it. Come on. Not even going to bother with staying in between there. I hope the cycle isn't shorter for that one, because I'm just going to be impatient. So far, so good, guys. And we made it! Uh-oh. So the real question, then, is going to be... I hate this game. <laughs> I am so mad. I was like, maybe we have to, you know, trigger the explosion. Sure enough, he exploded, I got damaged, and nothing of importance happened. So now I'm fairly confident at least we need to get the TNT barrels on both sides of the plane in order to blow it up. All right, so we'll give that side a go again. Why would they even make that a possibility? I don't think it's that unreasonable to think, oh, I need to make them blow up. But, oh well. I guess they also probably aren't assuming that somebody's, you know, recording the game for a YouTube channel that, you know, in the interest of being an interesting, uh, Viewing experience, oh, oh. things need to progress at a somewhat formidable rate. Rather than, you know, redo the same gameplay segments time and time again for a good 10 minutes. Oh. But that's okay. I certainly won't blame Rareware for what's going on here. Okay, narrowly avoided that. I'll Actually, no, I should, I should blame Rareware for what's going on here. It is... Undoubtedly, <laughs> their product. <sighs> but it looks like I think we've made it again. So now to find out what's going on on the right side of things. It would look like there was like a mine enemy, right? So they're probably going to like auto detonate when we get too close. But it also had like spider legs. So I bet it's going to chase after us, right? Kind of scurry.
We got splatted. I will say that these boxes, the ammo boxes, remind me of the boxes from Rusty Bucket Bay and Banjo. Those were some pretty interesting enemies. Alright, come on up, bud. We need another. Huh? Nobody's coming out. Okay. Then what do we need to do? I don't know, but I guess I'll come over here. See what happens when I run this way. Seems it takes those guys a second to spawn and then start to run after us. So admittedly, they don't seem like too much of a threat right now to conquer without anything slowing him down, that is. But here we are. And it doesn't seem like that really amounted to much. Maybe I can bait them to, to come after me. Oh, so they don't seem to be... <laughs> so they're certainly just proximity mines. They don't actually chase after you, which is pretty cool. Um, you can more or less memorize the location, I guess. That's probably something we're going to have to do. Ooh, that one, that one almost had me tricked. But the real question is, why could I not bring another TNT guy over? Do I need to find a different TNT location? I don't know. Hmm... I brought that guy over there. I'd imagine I need to bring another one to the right. But I don't see any other place to get TNT, right? When I blew it up on the left side, nothing good happened. So I don't know what to do. Anything in the water of interest? Doesn't seem like it. From what I can see, at least. Nah, I mean, I don't... I don't think so, and I don't want to leave, you know, the entrance. Is there another bathroom? Is there a hidden door I'm missing or something? I'm... Trying the context-sensitive button. It's supposed to give me whatever I need. I need another TNT game. <laughs> context-sensitive button. I need another. Okay. Well, I don't really know what to do then, guys. I'm... I guess I'm gonna look it up already. <laughs> so it seems I, I do need one of those guys on each side. So I don't know why it's not working right now. I really don't know. The only thing I do know, I guess, is that... Well, the uh, there's apparently a power button that needs to be activated. And it'll show up in the center here after doing so. So I guess those arches underground or under the water are electricity that'll be supplied to the lights and such and we need to activate them and we do so by getting an electrical eel to follow us I guess through those arches so that's what we're gonna concern ourselves with right now I think this is one such arch I guess it was not one such arch and was instead a tire or something. Ah, that is one of the arches. You can tell because of the links. Can I conquer? Swim! Because of the links to the central tower, whatever. You coming? Come on. What? Why didn't that work? Alright, well, I guess we'll try it over here. Come on. Come on, bud. Through here. Through here. Please. 
All right, I think that worked. Okay, oh, so it did work. That change in the animation is the indicator there. All right, one more. Come on. All right, it's coming after. It got us, which is not the end of the world. Because we're treated to a lovely cutscene. Oh, what, the electric eel died in the process? How does that work? How does an electric eel get electrocuted? <laughs> so that activates all the lights, which should make our quest a little bit easier. And now there is a context-sensitive button. Let's see how useful it is. More importantly, if it'll give us another <laughs> TNT guy, because that's really what we need right now. Okay. So... It gives us the slingshot, and I'm fairly confident I'm going to need both of the, like, TNT guys on each side, so I'm going to hold off on activating the TNT kegs yet. So let's try again, now that the power's on. Still no one? Alright, I mean, I guess I'll try using the slingshot to activate... The TNT guy on the left? I figured I would need them both on the same time, but maybe, maybe not. So let's see here. I'm gonna intentionally go a little bit high. Alright, so we activated this one. Poor guy. Interesting. So it does look like it's going to happen one at a time. We took out a huge chunk of the plane there. So now we can go back and get our second guy. It's interesting that they won't let you just blow them up while you're there. Instead, you have to find out about the electricity in the water, those electric arches and the electric eel. And then after doing that, shoot them with a slingshot. I think it's a little bit unnecessary in my opinion, but it's not the end of the world. Now we get to deal with mines, right? I'm trying to remember... I think the first two are on the left. I tried to pay attention on our way back, so... Let's do that. Yep, on the left. On the left, and I think there are only two. And I think the next two are going to be on the right, and then there's going to be a third one on the left. Let's hope I'm right. Yep, one, two, and then through there. Lovely. And now the next one, I think, is left, right, left. So we're going to continue here for now. Hopefully I'm right. Hopefully I'm right. Okay. Right, and then left. And then right, hard angle. Come on. I think we're in the clear now. Yes, we made it. I'll just sit here. Yeah, rest up, bud. Enjoy your enjoy your final moments. Sorry, not sorry. This is Conquer after all. Conquer's not a fellow who feels sorry for anyone, really. Except maybe the Queen Bee, who he pities her appearances. Uh can I just high jump up here? I can. Nice. All right, slingshot time. And it, it didn't look like it was any sort of normal slingshot. It looks like it was lit, ignited, on fire. Down goes the plane. So now we should be able to get a move on with our boat. So let's see if our sergeant friend is waiting for us. Ah, uh, it looks like he is down here. What? 
What? We just get knocked out? We're getting taken somewhere without our permission? I don't like it. Now we're in the boat. Ow. Somebody hit me on the head. With a bunch of other soldiers. Where am I? What's this doing on my head? Oh, hi guys. Uh, would somebody mind telling me what's going on here? Doesn't look like it. What? That doesn't sound good. Wait, Conquer doesn't even have a gun. What? <laughs> right off the bat. People getting absolutely demolished. Limbs flying at Conquer. Even underwater, no escape. Conquer, how are you gonna survive this? It is, this is this is the uh, the attack on the beaches of Normandy, right? Conquer, you gotta move, man! You gotta move! Yikes. Get me the heck out of here! Where to? I guess we'll run where we can see. I don't know if there's actually like a proper path to take. It seems like it. But either way, we're gonna run. The bullets look like shooting stars. It's raining down. Oh, we actually took damage. I was curious because it didn't seem like we, we took damage from one of those hits. We made it here. They're goners. Okay. Yeah, I'm the only one. Uh, not enough. Not enough. What, what, what's going on here? Teddies. <laughs> Teddies. This is the last assault. It's not looking good. Teddies. I hate these guys. <laughs> Congress like, all right, now I'm in. <gasps> Rip. Uh, 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 yeah, I gotta. I gotta For your fallen comrades. But I, I'm not equipped properly. Yep. I think you should press B. <laughs> <laughs> I love the self awareness. Hold ya. Move it out. Wow. Dual wielding, ready to go. And we can move like this, or we got the usual sort of crosshair mechanics. We need a key to get in here. Good to know. We are healed up and we are strafing. Lovely. Lovely, just what I wanted. Can I put the guns away? I can. Alright, I'll take them out, just because I feel like I'm going to need them. Do I not, do I not go in here? Hello? I'm Conker. I would like to fight. Oh, is that reloading? That's really funny. At the very least, this is not the situation with zombies, right? Where do I go? Do I shoot the door?
seems pretty ineffective. But yeah, at least with the zombies, you know, or because they're not zombies, I'm not going to have to aim for the head. Which was a bit of a difficulty. Whoa. Is that how they're demonstrating damage now? That sort of, uh, like, bullet hole mark? Is there anything back here that I missed? Nope, just a little safe haven, it seems. It's hilarious he has the cigar, too. Alright, well... Yeah, so it does look like that's my new damage meter. At the very least, while I'm armed. Where else can I go at the moment? I'll try hitting B in front of this door, I guess. Wasn't particularly effective. How about this one? Is there a switch somewhere? Guys. Alright, I mean, I'll walk back. I guess. Do they want me to shoot at the turrets or whatever from here? Is that what they want me to do? No, there's no way. I can't even raise my crosshair high enough. I can try from here as far as I can get. I don't think it's going to get much better than that, though. Maybe I'll... Okay, I'll walk out there and I'll go even further back and see if I can shoot into that little area. If that's not effective, then I guess I'll just look it up again. We're getting shot at, Conker. We're hit! We're hit! We're... We are very hit. Alright, Conker, let's see what we can do. Is this at all effective? I doubt it, honestly. I can't even raise my gun that high. Raise my crosshair that high. Alright, we'll try here. I think we should be far enough that we can get up there. Doesn't seem like this is effective, let alone the way to go. Is that area open? No, it's not. Alright, well, I'll, I'll move a little bit more quickly like this. See if there's anywhere else where I can think of using my... gun in some useful manner. Right now, it seems pretty unlikely, though. Got some scenery off in the distance. I'm trying to see if that's similar to... Oh, I can't even go back here. Can I? Trying to see if it's similar to the actual overworld that we traverse. Anything interesting back here? No. Anything I can swim to? No. Blocked off there. Alright, I mean, I guess... It's gotta be something with the doors, right? And I mean, that's where the game would think me... Would lead me to think. But there was at least nothing very intuitive to open up those doors. I would think I need to get behind the enemy lines, get into those rooms, and that'll take out the turrets, but... Do I need to do another context-sensitive button with him? No? Do I need to break the lock with my gun? That's what I need to do. <sighs> I'll reserve my negativity. <laughs> gonna be like target practice all right conquer let's get him the real question is oh wow so they are they are they are out here what did I get hit by oh they are very much shooting themselves we are finding them and getting shot by them. Where am I getting hit by? What? Did they shoot me through the box? They must have. All right, so the boxes aren't coverage. That's good to know. Oh, and I do have lives. All right, so I'm just going to aim like this and stand relatively still. I don't know how that just happened. 
It looked like he ran right by me with his uh, bayonet. Wonder how many of them are there, slash, do they respawn? Well, it seems like that was enough. Uh-oh. I'll take it, I can't go through that. Can I jump high enough to get over it? The answer is no. The answer is no, I can't. Why would I have expected platforming to be the solution to one of those puzzles? And now I'm going to have to kill these guys again. Yep. Okay. Wow. Right off the bat, we are taking some heavy damage. There's going to be a guy on the right who's then going to go to the left. So it seems they, interestingly enough, at least follow the, the same pattern. I think there's one more. No, none left. Alright, so let's think real quick. Is there any chocolate? Was that not like an artillery shell or something in, that caused that? Doesn't look to be anything else going on in here. Can I interact with any of these crates? No. How about these... I don't know. Barrels? Canisters? No. So then the question is, how do I get past here? Contrary to my expectations, I can't blow these barrels up. When I walked into the red laser, it looked like it deactivated afterwards, right? So it's sort of a one-time thing. Hmm. Can I shoot the sensor? Nope. Is there nothing I can roll into the sensor? Hmm. It doesn't seem so. Is there an alternate route that I'm not seeing? Again, it doesn't really seem so. Hmm. Can I crawl while crouched? I can. Why? It's literally never been relevant. But, okay. I'll take it. We got Stealthy Conquer invading the enemy territory. Crawling through the lasers. Gotta stay down. Oh no! What? That's not cool. Alright, alright. You wanna fight? Fight is what you'll get. Oh man. Oh, there are a couple of them. Well, the chocolate is much appreciated. They seem to be jumping out at us. Yeah, I, I knew that that... It seems like they've been coming out of, you know around corners and everything to attack. There's no way that guy's dead from just that, is he? I don't think so. Let's see here. Oh man. Gonna have to really short hop. I was a little bit too tall, I guess. They're gonna start me way back. Yep. Alright, we'll take these guys out again. I guess we can take that guy out at least. There's this guy over here. At least for what it's worth, I mean, when... When the problem is the lasers, right? It's a... It's something where the amount of health I have doesn't really matter. The only thing I need to be super wary of is being too close to these guys so that they don't rush me and get me that way. How did that not... I, like, put a full clip into him. I don't know how that worked, but... That's all right. We'll get the chance to heal up a little bit. Anything behind this one? Nope. Just the next couple. We'll have our gun out and ready. They're not there yet. Aw, oh, man, we still took the hit. What? 
How did not? How did they not die from that? You guys saw that, right? Like I was standing right in front of him, shooting him. Plenty of shots. And he got two hits in. I mean, at the very least, they're not punishing really for the game over, you know. But um, but still, that was gonna be a guy over here. All right, where, where are these teddies, man? Those sound effects are great. That was a full clip. Not even, actually. That took him out, so I don't know why. And one other guy, maybe if I'm too close. Some of the bullets don't register or something like that? I bet that's the case. So I guess we'll try to maintain our distance as well as we can. What I'll do is come over this way. And then... Oh, it's like they're not even there yet, are they? Yeah, and I'll just look down my sight. Now there's going to be one that pops up from around here. Oh, there are two. That's right. Yeah, so I'm much better off just looking down my sight and trying to aim for a headshot than doing anything else. It's alright, though, because at the very least, we have quite a bit of health potential, right? We got a lot of chocolate behind us. The real question would be, can I jump while doing this? No, I can't. So I'm going to have to jump. Let's see here. That's a full height jump. Hmm. So I'm going to have to do the, the hover on my way down, I think. Uh, I, I second guess myself. Alright, let's see here. That should do it. Alright, made it through. And we've got a lot of them coming through. Here I am just talking about, you know, I should aim down my sights. But I just kind of instinctively <laughs> pulled out my gun and started, you know, hitting the trigger. Are they going to fall from the ceiling? They are. Oh, I don't have my gun out. Come on. Take your gun out. And I don't have access to all of that health from before. Unless I want to try to go through, but honestly, I'd rather not risk it. So we'll go through here. There's going to be another set of them, I'm sure. Why does it, every time I go down my sight... You know what? I am going to run this way. And, uh... We're... No, 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 no! So, for those of you that are like, wait, what happened? I hit B to put my guns away, and then tried to hit A to jump, but my guns hadn't gone away, so I stood there and reloaded instead. And that was not, you know, very conducive to surviving the enemy chilling right in front of me. Where are they coming from? Left, right... Right in front of me, I guess? Okay. Don't know how we got over there, but oh well. The music is so tense. I like it. Alright, so we're going to walk over this way, walk a little bit, aim down our sights, nope, aim down our sights, and we didn't even make it in time. Alright, actually no, I should keep my gun out for now, because now there are going to be two of them this way. Yep. At least it's helpful to have it memorized. Oh wait, no, I still need my gun out, because there's going to be another one, we get attacked. But it's all fine and dandy. Wait, no... Every time I let go, every every time I aim down my sight, it like pulls to the right. I don't know why. It's not the end of the world, but it's interesting. What? It's probably the depth perception again, but I totally thought I was underneath that. Hopefully you guys saw at least two. But all right, we start the invasion again. To a great start getting absolutely destroyed which also kind of confirms that the uh the attacks are somewhat the bullet shots the bullet shots wow what a word the attacks are somewhat random in terms of when they'll hit or not it's all right we got plenty of health 
to pick up over here. So that's exactly what we'll do. Alright, we'll take our gun out, get ready to go, and... That time we were good. This time, let's see here. It pulls to the right. It pulls to the right. Uh, is there chocolate back here too? Alright, cool. So we are full health. Oh, wait. I forgot about this guy. Pull your gun out. Double hit. Lovely. Come on. Can, can we... Seriously? Why? Why conquer? Why will you not just shoot them, please? Uh. Okay, let's try this again. What? Seriously? Oh. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. What? I think my, like, momentum... Am I getting attacked from all over? Where even? How did I get attacked twice there? Alright, so... I don't know if you guys are watching, but I, I couldn't see anyone there. Walk in. I think I got a few of them right off the bat, which should make life a little bit nicer. Is he dead? Man, we're taking so much damage. At the very least, Conker's crawl isn't that slow. So we're able to still move fairly quickly while crawling. A little bit further. I almost feel like there's a little bit of like an auto aim sort of like assist function. Because as soon as I go down the site, it, it draws. It's like pulled in a particular direction. I should have remembered that this guy was going to be here. Um, and that there's going to be another guy who shows up. Um, is there a better way of going about this? Oh, is that too high? That was too low. What? I didn't die? It wasn't an insta-death? <laughs> so then I stood up and I hit the A button to... So normally when you die, right? <laughs> you have to close in the sort of black fade around you by holding down the A button or the B button. And so I did that in order to speed up the process. But, it turns out I just ended up jumping into the laser myself, which got myself killed. Great. So now, as long as I have enough health, I know that I can just take damage intentionally to get rid of one of the lasers. Which, honestly, is not an awful solution. The real question is, I don't know exactly how much damage the lasers do. I just hope it's not too much, right? Is it one chocolate? Is it two chocolates? Gonna remind myself that there's another Teddy's coming. And now there's another one. Come on. Alright, so I'm at full health. Given that I normally die on this, I would imagine each laser does two damage. So what I'm actually going to do is intentionally get hit. And yeah, that is the case. It does do two damage. But now I can crawl under here safely. And honestly, that is worth it right now. So we are getting ambushed like crazy. We are safe for the moment. There's going to be more that drop down, so we'll get ready. Nope. Okay, we'll get ready. We got some headshots pretty quickly, so we are okay. And now there are more, so we'll take care of you, and more, yep, come on, oof, 
All right. Got rid of you guys. Chocolate. Probably going to be more coming up, right? Dropping down. Yep. Oh, that guy was just like a mad dash towards me. All right. Any more? Of course. Uh, turn around, conquer. Turn around. This is... Oh, man. Huh? What was that perspective? Is that a bomb of some sort? It's like crawling on the ceiling and the walls. Now it's coming behind us. Uh-oh. I don't like the look of that. Oh, it's those things. So they do actually move. Close the elevator door, Conker. You gotta hit the close button. <laughs> of course. Than that. Famous last words. <laughs> Conquer's like, not this music. Wait, what? Am I am I in a dream or? Oh, okay. Oh, it looks like they're gonna show up too. Nope, I guess not. Oh, they are showing up. All right. Am I safe up here? More or less, it seems. That's good to know. But they can't really get me while I'm up here. I'm not going to risk getting that chocolate. I should have known. What was that out of the corner of my eye? What in the world? Alright, we've got our vantage point here. This is probably what I should have done for the zombies, too. All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep our gun out for now. What in the world is that? Excuse me? What in the world are you? You're not taking damage when I shoot you. You are a flamethrower guy. Are you on a cycle? Do you do that in response to movement? I don't think I can shoot you. Or at the very least, while your mask is on. I'll try again one more time. Yeah, alright. He's, he's invincible, so... We'll wait until he's done doing that. Actually, I should just keep my gun out, honestly. Given that they're probably going to drop bears in front of me from around here. Yep. Bears and fire. Okay, so far so good. Bears are on the corner. Yep, four of them it seems. Okay, lasers and bears. Yep, there's one. Was there only one is the question. All right, it appears there was only one. Do I want to go? I think I'm going to want to go this way. All right. And drop down. Only one, luckily. Nope. Surprise attack. Where am I going? Come on, attack. Shoot already, Conquer. Is that one dead? Is it actually dead? Alright, seems so. I've got a couple chocolate, which is nice. From around the corner. Nope. Now we're getting into the dark. Lovely. I'm gonna take down my gun, I guess. Because I want to run and jump across this. Now I'm going to take my gun out, because we don't have lasers to jump over, which means they're probably going to send some teddies after me from around the corner. So we'll do this, and get ready to aim. Yep, there they are. And there's totally a, like, aim assist here. There's totally an aim assist. From above... Wow, there's so many of these teddies. And more are going to drop down. <clears throat> more are going to drop down. Come on. Shoot him, Conker. Oh, man. All right. So we've got to crawl just to be safe. And we're in the clear. Please tell me that's the end of that segment. Oh, what? Oh, this is a bit different. Is this like a... One of those guys. Medical? Uh, area? 
Yeah, yeah that's incredible. I mean, what if you were to give this game to, say, yes, 20 yes. intelligent people? I mean, what would that do? Let's face it, what would it do? Really? That's interesting. What the f it's that bloody squirrel? Quick, into character! <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so it looks like we are getting some target practice. Oh, hello, you got here awfully quickly. Are they throwing knives at me? Is that what's going on here? I don't see anybody from the left to the right. Where else? So the question is, is this an endless wave type dealio where I got to take them all out? And that's the success condition? Or am I supposed to be making progress? What? I got hit. Where am I getting hit from? Yeah, so it's when they stop by in front of me like that. There's another guy over here. Got him off in the distance. Music is calming down. I love the little, like, doctor-esque outfit. Seriously? How is none of that... How are you not dead? Alright, are you dead? Final one? End of them? I'll start walking, I guess. It looks like it. The door at the end of the hallway is green. And that was not the case before. Actually... Oh, is that... What is going on over here? Oh my god, this is you. Could you get me out of here? I, I think it's that switch over there. But be careful. I think the other one is, you know, frying tonight. Yeah, um, just, just stay there. The cavalry has arrived. Sorry, you can't move. Let's see now. Um, uh oh. Do you know which switch it is? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 written on it. Um, yeah. Conquer's like. <laughs> if I get it right, I save him. If I get it wrong, nobody can hold me accountable. Hmm. I I don't know. Is there a way to tell? Is the real question. Or does it even matter? Is it a false? sense of actual, I don't know, influence or decision, right? I don't know. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, we're gonna go... Which one did he start with? Eeny, meeny, miny... He started with the one on the left, I think, so we're gonna go with this one. Hope for the best. Uh-oh. To be honest, I bet that was the... Plan this one, <laughs> the whole time. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yikes. Well, what do you know? I'm not quite dead. Thanks for that. Feel a bit strange. <laughs> Never look better. You look great. I gotta go. See ya. <laughs> At least hit the other switch, man. All right. Off we go. Sorry about that, bud. Yikes. Okay, are we somewhat safe behind these? The earlier segments would lead me to believe that I'm not. However, it seems there are occasional moments where his gun locks up or he needs to reload. And those are my moments to, I guess, make some progress. The real question is, where am I trying to go? Right? All I can think of is just getting close to him or taking a second to shoot him myself. Wow, and that took three chocolates. I guess, you know, okay, so they do speed him up. Which is good to know. Can I get up here? Come on, keep climbing. Oh man, we're so dead. Nope. Come on, come on. Get up there, Conquer. Wait, where am I trying to get up to? I guess we were temporarily safe for that moment. 
Okay. So is this a rocket launcher or something? Seems to be the case. <laughs> so that was awfully effective. Now, importantly, I have three chocolate bars left. Okay, so I'm going to try not to die by taking fall damage. And we are in the clear. Now, if I had to guess, I'm going to have to use this myself to break down that door. Yep. How did I know? Oh, or no! I just take it up and then I have to protect myself. Wow, this is something to control. At the very least, it doesn't seem to be locking up like it did for him. <clears throat> it doesn't seem to be locking up like it did for him. Can I please aim? Anybody on the left? Oh, there are people on the left too. Not people, teddies. Hopefully they're not coming from the right as well. It's not like they can really even damage me, can they? I'm sure the idea is that they eventually make their way around- Seriously? What am I missing? I bet they make their way around, and then they'll damage Conquer from behind. This is so... What? Okay. You are going down. We got more teddies from the left, I believe. At least we've got some heavy hitting firepower, right? It seems like for the most part, one hit and they're dead, which is nice. I saw that little jump there. Come on. Alright. We're getting attacked a bunch from the left. We gotta fend them off. They're getting us from the right and the left, it seems. Where am I... Where is this guy? Is he over this way or what? Oh, he's over here. Alright, well we got him. Are we done? Nope. Still got a little bit more to go. So what was nice with the turret with the bees was that I had a little bit of a mini-map. Which was really helpful. Can I... Can I get out? I can. Alright, let's heal up before I game over and regret my life. <laughs> okay, what's going on in this room? They're just gonna bump up the level of the artillery or what? What is this? So it looks like an assembly line of some sort for the mines? Okay, doesn't look like there's anything else we can really do in here. Master plan. <laughs> what's the master plan, guys? So they cut the teddy bear in half, plant him on the mine thing, and then they run at us and kaboom? Is that, that's kind of what it seems like, right? We'll see. Oh boy. Oh no, they've got our friend! Go save him, Conker. Poor little guy. Choose a target. <laughs> Some good armor. Come on, Conker, save him! Don't drop your cigar. Or rather, please do drop your cigar. That's not good for you. Alright. I think we've saved him. Hey! Hey, fella! Fella! Come on! This is not the place we want to be hanging around. Are you even tied up anymore? You killed them. Oh, that's great. Thanks for that. Conker? What? Oh. Hey. Hey, it's Rodin, isn't it? Rodin? What are you doing? Oh, not too good at the moment. They wanted 
<laughs> oh, well, it doesn't matter. Hey, I noticed that your outfit is a little bit different to the usual army regulation attire. What? What is it? Oh, yeah. It's uh, experiment number G7224. I'm the first to be fitted with this. It's an indestructible, ah, uh, titanium... Conker's weapon. totally gonna kill him for it. So what does that mean? Oh, uh, it means that if somebody shoots me, I don't die. Really? That's a pretty good idea. I'll get me some of them. That's the only one. They're very expensive. Anyway, stick behind me, and you should be all right. I can be your Operation Squirrel Shield. What do you think? Sounds good to me. <laughs> it's funny. He's doing the same thing. All right. How much health do I have? I have four chocolate bars. Is are, is there any chocolate in here? Does not seem to be the case. So we, I guess we get to choose which of the two ways we can go. Anything in here? No, not really. All right, we'll go this way then. Um, <clears throat> Operation Squirrel Shield, waiting on you. <laughs> get to shelter man get to shelter yikes so that doesn't look too good I guess we'll go can I shoot him ahead of time nope cannot shoot him ahead of time so what I'm going to do is put my guns away so that I can actually... Wow. Okay, so I can't run past them once they start dropping down. Good to know, I guess. Bomb coming. We'll get away. Run on through. And we got another one of these guys. So the real question is, do I have to... Oh, okay. So I have to run past behind this guy who's going to block me from the detonating bombs. Okay, I get it. I see the routine. And we'll work with it. I appreciate that there's a solid sound effect every time one of those bombs starts running at me. Yep, so now I know to run back. Come on, bud. Wait, buddy! Where are you going? Where are you? Hello? Where is Operation Squirrel Shield, dude? Come on! What are you doing? What's taking you so long? Will you not walk through the craters? Is that it? And I have to walk along the side to lead you? Oh, that's totally the case. Are you tired? Or what? Come on. I'm going right by the door. You shoot off the locks. And I'll meet you there. We'll rendezvous whenever you've got done. Okay, I'll be in a bit. Okay. So I've got to shoot the locks. Does that just mean I shoot these when they're lit up? I would think. But it doesn't seem to be working. So, I mean, I guess I'll move quickly and try to get closer. I said we'll rendezvous whenever I've got it done. I probably need to do a context-specific button, or context-sensitive button, in order to actually shoot them. Up here? On top of here? Nope. Over here? There it is. I'll rendezvous with you in just a moment, buddy rodent buddy have we met him before oh my so that is quite the the pack quite the power all right oh and there are a bunch of teddies so that was a pretty fast death 
So they drop the teddies as I'm shooting. Oh, and that's a game over too. Please tell me I don't have to go that far back. Okay, that's good at least. That's one thing that I at least appreciate is, I guess, why do you even really have game overs? And lives in general, if you just respawn to the last checkpoint every time you die, regardless. But, that's alright. Alright, so we're gonna fire these guys off. I think, um, I'm just gonna want to focus on them for the most part. These locks. Because the teddies seem to be way too much to, like, really keep track of. So we got rid of that lock. And I don't know if there's any more, right? I don't think so. I think we're good. Conquer. Hello. What am I waiting for right now? What's going on? Okay. Do I shoot at the... Oh, why can I not, for the life of me, do anything in peace? Alright, alright. I'm just gonna... Do this. To no avail. At the very least, I got to look around and see that there weren't any more locks to bust, so that's progress in its own right, I guess. We'll meet up with our friend. Oh, I wanted, I wanted to use the pan, of all things. We're gonna keep on running. Come on, buddy. Through the door, through the door. Let's just get a move on. At least there's no teddies in here. Oh, a tank. Now that may come. Oh my, a tank. Oh, a tank. Oh, I do as well. I haven't got one of them yet. But he got one. You got a collection of them or what? Oh, I've tightened them too. Sweet, 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 sweet. I'm going to look inside. Okay. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Just going to look inside. <laughs> That's hilarious. I am going to grab some chocolate, and then I'd imagine we're going to be using that class 22 to do some damage. Yep. So we can't open that. Can we... I don't know. Oh boy. Literally tank controls, right? So I can do that. And I came from over here, right? Yeah. So I think that's all I need to do with this for now. Yeah? No, oh, that's a little bit of a letdown. But not the end of the world, I guess. I shouldn't have done that. I thought it was going to take fall damage. So this is... Looks like radioactive material. That is not going to be good. Oof. Bad even for the robot <laughs> detonating mines. It's good to know. There comes one. We're gonna go this way. And we are safe. Alright. Whew. And what does this take us to? A switch. And what does this switch do? It's probably gonna open those huge doors outside. Oh! No, that's not what I expected. Well, hopefully that's opened the door on the outside. But whatever it's done, I think it's one of those let's leg it moments. Yeah, I agree. And so now we are playing some Crash Bandicoot while we uh, run towards the player's perspective, the camera, and try to jump over pitfalls. Wow, that is moving fast. Run, Conquer, run! What? Oh, okay, I had to jump. Well, that's good that I at least figured that out at the end. And now we have that door open. We can probably... Can we take the tank? Please tell me we can take the tank. Nice. We are going to take the tank over there. Alright. Let's get the move on, rodent buddy boy. Um, what, do I, what do I do now? <laughs> Uh-oh. 
So I'm certainly stuck here at the moment. Do I have to make the way for the tank by jumping over here ahead of the tank and, I don't know, doing this? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, not what I expected, but we'll take it. I am happy to have made some sort of progress. The real question is going to be how... No, don't fall. Okay, how much damage does the tank take? Because I really don't want to have to worry about taking you know, taking down all of these teddies. It has come up from the ground. They are like the zombies. Okay, so it seems they do have grenades that do damage. Come on. Okay. Let's get a little bit back on track. Hopefully they don't, like, infinitely respawn. That would be less than ideal. Alright, are we stable here? I think so. Alright, Conker. You know the deal. Up you go. Context sensitive button. And we're in the clear. Alright. Camera. We gotta crush these guys. One. Oh, I missed one. But honestly, I don't think it's the end of the world. So long as... What? They got out of the way? Not a fan of that. Alright, we're just gonna... Wait, what? Ah, it was doing the thing where whenever Conker's on a slope that's, you know, high enough, he'll just run off of it as opposed to being able to jump or anything like that. So the, the tank has taken considerable damage, it seems. But I don't think it matters because we weren't actually inside it. Now what do we do? I've got to get over there, maybe? I don't know. Seems to be the case, I guess. Um, maybe, maybe the goal is to just... This is what I have to shoot or something? Doesn't seem to be the case. So, I don't really know. Well, can we take you out, old teddies? Hmm. Oh, I can aim like this. That's a pretty big difference maker. So, we can try to take out these teddies just to make our lives easier in the future. And now we will aim over here. Is this something I need to aim at? I see. So the whole time, I think I've been supposedly... Oh wait, did we, did we take that out in the end? Or is that still the same one? No, it's not. So, okay. So the whole way I was coming here, I needed to have stopped along the way and taken out these legs of the building here. Okay. And then after we do that, this whole tower in the center will probably crumble. And that's going to lead to some cutscene that I'm looking forward to. So that's three. And then there's one at the beginning. Alright. And that's the last one. So down goes that turret. <laughs> Pretty comical way for it to collapse. Alright. And that's going to make another pathway for our tank. So I think we'll go on over there now. At the very least, the teddies aren't respawning, right? That would be a little bit rough. For the time being, we can just afford to drive on down. And I think this is where I switch to just going conquer. The real question is, what in the world is down here? What have we unlocked? This looks like a boss. Oh. Oh, well. In for a penny, in for a pound, I suppose. What are we going to be dealing with here? Is that a, is that a catfish? Okay, a submarine. Okay. It's a bomb! It's a bomb! 
It's like that master plan. It's dangerous around here, little girl. I don't think you want to be here. Um, hi, have you come to rescue me? What? What is that? That's the, um, inverse phase sonar. Very efficient with, um, oh, hell you know about that. Uh, school? Oh, I never learned things like <laughs> Anyway, what is it? It fires a missile, I think. A Teddy Funken U-47 Intercontinental Ballistic <laughs> Missile. A missile? Yes, like that one. Uh-oh. Epic dodge. Don't, don't you worry, little girl. I'll rescue you. Oh, goody, goody. Yeah, her parents are bound to have some cash. Ah, of course. There's the real motive coming out from Conquer. Alright, so let's survey the area. We have these towers. This one is open. And that's where we're going to find some chocolate, which is good to know. It looks like there are also these outstretches with ladders and context-sensitive buttons. Do I need to activate them in order to use them, or... Alright, well, it's good to know that wherever I was getting attacked from, this one was not particularly useful. So it seems to be coming from over there. In this direction. I wonder if that submarine is constantly moving around. Or no, it seems to be in the same place. So we'll come over here and slide off. Lovely. Sliding off is exactly what I had in mind there. How did you know, game? How did you know? Alright, what are we going to do with this? Are we going to get a rocket launcher? We had a rocket launcher for a moment. <laughs> a very brief moment. Alright, we're going to dodge this missile real quick. And then we'll go here and see if this works a little bit better. We got to move. We got to move. Come on, Conker, get up. Excuse me, but where are you, submarine? Aw, oh, man, the submarine basically disappears as soon as it fires the missile, so you've got to be really fast with it. There we go. So we got that one. I'd imagine there are going to be three of them. So where are we going to get attacked from next? Where's the next missile coming from? Oh, it's still from over there to my surprise. So maybe we need to get multiple hits in camera. Uh, well, you know what, let's hope that they don't home in on me and it's instead based on where it initially, where I initially was at the time of the missile firing. That, what, that was totally a hit. Oh, I'm so gonna get hit. Okay. Where is he? He's there, right? Yeah. All right. Come on, come on. All right, we gotta get out of here. Out of the way. Try again. What, that was so close, that had. All right, we'll get out of the way again and come back. All right. I'll keep an eye out here. Oh, so interesting. So I brought the rocket launcher back out again just in case I needed to use it again because, um, well, that would be convenient. But we also know that at the places where it's not relevant, we actually won't be allowed to use it even. And so the fact that it stopped means I don't need to use it there and I can safely come over here to focus on this area. Let's see here. All right, we got a double hit there, which is good. We weren't quite far enough. Oh, we fell in the water. We weren't quite far enough from the explosion to avoid getting hit. And I get the impression this rocket's gonna be pretty tough to avoid as well. Double whammy, lovely. And here comes another one. Let's see if we can at least get a rocket off. 
I don't think we actually got a hit in there. But what I can do now is go get some chocolate to heal up so we can afford to take a few more hits. So we'll head back to that other area, take our time. No need to rush. It is nice that the chocolate at least comes back. Yeah, and at least these aren't the homing ones that we had to uh, deal with when dealing with the hay monster machine. That was pretty funny. Alright, we gotta get out of here to avoid. And we still were a little bit too late. It seems like they take two hits, so there, there goes one of them. And that should make it easier to deal with the next one. It's just like a repeat of the first cycle. Lovely. So I think we're done here. Now, based on how the game has been going, we're probably going to have to deal with three submarines on the final one. So we'll start heading over this way, and... One, two... Okay, just two. I walked off. So that's going to be difficult because... The rockets, I think, are going to land on the platform. Yeah, so I wanted to delay actually getting up there. Oh, I'm, I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to get out of the way right away. One, two, okay. Let's give it a go. I'm shocked there aren't three submarines. That would be like right up Conqueror's Alley. Get out of the way, Conquer. Okay. So we've got, oh my goodness, the camera shifts and then I'm like walking on, you know, an angle as opposed to straight down the platform like I expected, but. Oh well, oh and I was too close to the platform, I wasn't on it yet. Alright, let's hope we can make it in time. Come on, get up, Conquer. Alright, we're out of the way. So we'll grab a little bit of chocolate and head on back over. Camera is not working with me. Alright, we should be in the clear from both of these missiles, so let's hope we can take advantage of this opportunity to get a few missiles in. Nice. Wait, what fired at us? I was gonna say, I thought I got both of them with more than one hit. So, I mean, we'll get out of the way, but yeah, I thought, I thought we got rid of them. Does not seem to be the case. Or maybe there are just that many of them? Like there are multiple? Oh man, and we missed out on uh, avoiding that by just a little bit. They're still out there. Where? Alright, we're gonna get hit by this one. So, that's alright. Patience. Patience, Nick. Patience. We'll run around, we'll grab our chocolate. But really, what is taking these submarines so long to, to blow up? We've hit them quite a few times at this point. Alright, we're back at full health. We'll head on back over there. Hopefully it didn't, like, respawn when I went over to get some health. Nah, that's too late. Get out of there, Conker. I should have just taken the shot. If I was going to get hit anyways. Alright, that was unsuccessful. That was still too close anyways. Good to know, I guess. We'll go over here. Oh, was that a two for one? Oh, yeah. Nice double shot. Yeah. That was a Literally. Right. Now to sort out the ransom. Uh, rescue the Hugo. <laughs> Conquer. Oh, and we're still gonna get hit. That's actually kind of funny. You can get killed by the boss or whatever the submarines after you defeat them. All right. This is totally that ultimate weapon, the master plan. I'm going to feed my mommy and daddy again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on. Let's try and get you out of here. Uh, what the? Oh, you 
you guys. Come on, rodent. <laughs> no. Those sound effects. <laughs> It's evil. What? What? I don't have a daughter. Excuse me? What is this madness? Was that not even the boss? Oh, this is this is its final form. Looks about right. Okay. So you go for that saw based attack. Looks like we're gonna have to use the tank. I'm taking over. Oh my. This is my minigun. It fires eight thousand rounds per second. Sounds like it. So, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do there? Jump out of the tank and try to hide behind it? That's the only thing I can think of. Or do I... I don't know. Do I have to do something else? Do I have to attack it at a different time to not trigger that attack? Okay, lovely. Yeah, yeah. At the very least, we don't have to do the submarine part again. Alright, so let's get on over to our tank. And we got hurt by that, which is good to know. So maybe I have to aim a specific area. Right? Alright. So we're going to jump out. And I can't seem to do so. It seems that the the damage really comes from... I don't know. I think I hit him a couple times in his belly and that was the damage. He hides the puppet. So it makes me think that that's the area I really need to be aiming for. But I don't really see anything I can do during those ballistics lessons. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Because every time I get hit, I get stunned. And I don't think I can jump out once I'm already in the tank. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, I'll shoot at you. So none of those seem to be incredibly effective. But I can fire a couple times at his belly, and that's also incredibly ineffective. Interesting. So, one thing I noticed there was, well, I learned that he's not going to stop his attack pattern because I hit him a couple times, because I hit him plenty of times, so I don't know why it stopped the first time. But what I did notice is, out of the corner of my eye, it looked like something was shaky above him. And that might be the key to beating him, is, is he goes towards the center and then I drop something on him from above. So I want to take a closer look at that this time around. Because again, it could, well, for all we know, it could just actually be one of the textures that was shaky. When he does that saw attack, I think he's 
he leaves that thing vulnerable. Hmm. Something above him? No, that's just the that thing there. So I think we've got to go in here. And can we... Excuse me? Can I get that chocolate, please? So we're safe while we're in here, and I think we need to go back and forth between these to heal. But also, I think we need to get around back. How are we going to... Hmm. I don't know. I can move forward and then try to aim for a shot and then back up underneath here and do that relatively safely. I'll try aiming for the guns themselves to see if that'll break them. Yeah. So, a couple things of note. That broke the gun. And when I broke the gun, it also left the puppet vulnerable. Yeah. So then he turns around. Wait, you're not even active? So we did that, and now, now what? Ah, now this is very special. High energy inverted magnetic oh boy. laser with a six-pronged attack. All right, so we're gonna back up here. Six-pronged attack. Don't go through this. Don't go through this. But it seems like it's the same sort of strategy. Seems a little bit slower. So, I guess. Yeah, I have to bait it one way and then relatively quickly attack it. And then, puppet should be. Aw, oh, what? I thought the puppet would be in the clear. There we go. You're gonna turn around to go get it, exposing your back. <laughs> wow, rather dirty mouth. Okay. Nice. So there is the second hit. We are going to. I don't know. Hide again? Fur guided. <laughs> love it. I love the way that she says that. Alright, so. Yeah, I don't fancy my chances particularly well either. Which is why I'm trying as hard as I can to take whatever opportunity I can to attack the arms themselves. And it seemed to have gone decently well. Alright. Aim for the puppet. Great. Now... <laughs> I think this may be the final hit. There we go. Down it goes. Those things are getting released from its insides? Uh-oh. That doesn't spell too well for Conquer. Uh, oh, oh the, the tank's gone. Well, it's What about Rodent? Well. Rodent? Rodent? No! Rodent, no! Oh, no. He didn't make it. He was a great guy, a superb soldier, a military tactician, and yet, he was mortal, like the rest of us. Well said. But at least we showed that bitch who's <laughs> Mr. Squirrel! <laughs> Guess what? The show's not over till the little girl sings. Ooh, what's this? A little red button. I think I'll press it. Classic. Ooh, and what's that? 
lovely countdown. I wonder what's going to happen now. <laughs> we gotta run, Conker. We gotta run. Self-destruct. <laughs> oh, give me strength. Do I go down here? Try to make my way out this way? Yeah, I guess. Oh my goodness. What in the world is going on here? Look at this mess of lasers. What an experience. <laughs> I mean, at least we're not dealing with the teddies in here. But. Wow, this is going to be an escape. I also realize this episode is going on forever, but I kind of just want to group this whole mission or whatever uh, together. It's so difficult to extract how far I'm actually moving. I did not realize how far deep I was there, actually. Same there. At least we have a little bit more health. I can try to kind of hover between there to no avail. Maybe I should have just tried to jump. Maybe the the hover tail is giving me a wider hitbox than I'd like. Also, how about that? How about that little thumbnail there? That was pretty funny. In we go. I wonder how tight the time is. I doubt it's that intense. Okay. Maybe. Maybe I have to jump diagonally? Alright, maybe not. Or still maybe. Maybe I just did it incorrectly. Am I going to get any health here? No? Okay. So I can drop down here, and then I've got to do the, the same old... Aw, oh, man. Oh, I was too high up again. That same jump that gave me trouble on the way in. I've now got to do on the way out with a timer and more lasers. All right. Oh man. So we were too high up that time. And I guess I was too deep there. This is going to be rough. I'm just going to try to jump. Okay, the jump alone worked. That is noteworthy. Should I just try to jump through this guy too? That might have been... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not a fan of the teddies. Why can't I aim? Aim down, Conker. Aim down. Okay. How am I going to get over this? Can I crawl under? No. Nah. I'm going to have to be... I guess really precise with my hovering? I don't know how I get through that. That's, that's a really tight window. But oh well. There's no, no way around it. It's what we're going to have to do, so... We'll do it alright. At least I know now that teddies are on the table. Okay. I should just try to jump over the right end of it there. Yeah. That's probably going to be the way to go. Okay. Jump over it like that. Lovely. Lovely. This guy here still poses a lot of trouble. <laughs> a lot of trouble, unfortunately. And teddies... We're going to get the headshots, so we are in the clear. I am going to try... Oh, I really don't think I can do that. What if I cl or crawl from here? That worked. And I bet that there's going to be a teddy. Or two. Or three. Maybe. Okay. So, yeah, what I can do is jump up here. And then crawl from here across, I think? Yeah, and then I'll crawl under this. 
gonna take out my gun because there's surely going to be a teddy. Nope. Oh, I'm gonna have to deal with this again. Oh, man, guys. Just crawl. Just crawl, Conker. Just crawl. Hopefully it doesn't trigger... I don't know. Oh, man, I am gonna have to do it. We're so dead. What? Literally before I could do anything. Before I could do anything. They had already been shot twice. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm totally gonna have to do that whole sequence from the start again. Yep. Alright. What? I guess I drifted too far forward. Doesn't help that there's literally zero recovery in here either. Zero. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. What? I got hit? Literally every bit of chocolate matters because of that last bit where I know I'm going to take a bunch of damage. Alright, I tried to carefully crawl around that to no avail. This might be one of those moments where I just edit a bunch because this episode is already really long. I keep thinking it's going to be the end, the tank segment, and then the submarines, and then that boss, and uh, this, this level is not ending. Oh, I swear I stopped before it and he just like, of his own volition, walked forward into it. Conquer, please don't do that. Please don't. Alright. Darn it, we got hit again. Can I crawl across this time? I'll take it extra slow. Okay, we made it. And I think there are going to be more teddies. From around the corner. Yep. Just one, though. Alright, we'll jump up here. We can crawl across. Continue to crawl. And now I know at least what's going to happen, right? So I'm going to get ambushed. I'm going to have my gun out and ready to go. What? They're not even letting me get my gun out? Okay, I guess I can't get my gun out yet. Oh, what is it? A rocket launcher? What the heck? Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Come on, come on, fire! Don't die, don't die. There's one over here. Come on. Get out here. Oh, no, and I fired and now... Okay, there's gonna be one on the right. Hopefully not one on the left. One on the right. Come on, where are you, man? Alright. He's just going back and forth between there. Seriously? We move so slowly with this. We move so slowly. Alright, I think it's just this one left. Did we get him? I don't think so. Oh, and he's right there. I am so mad right now. I'm so mad. Do you guys see that? I just want to go find him and get him to actually come to me. So I can shoot him. Whatever I do, I take forever in between shots. I move so slowly. There goes two chocolate bars. At least these uh, beginning parts are getting a little bit more consistent, which is good. I was not ready, so naturally we lost another chocolate bar, so we're only going to be working with three, at most. If it's anything less than, than that, I might as well not even try. Got our guns out, ready for this guy that's going to come around the corner. Okay, we'll jump up here, crawl across. What happened there? I don't know, but I guess it worked. 
And now we'll get ready to use our rocket launcher again. Alright, let's uh, get ready to take this guy out. He's one of the tough ones. There's that guy there. Now we're able to shoot super fast. I don't know what happened. I mean, I guess I'll take it, but... Come on, shoot! What? How did that miss? Oh. Alright, well that time at least went pretty smoothly. Um, put the rocket launcher away. I guess that's going to be our new weapon we have on us. I didn't see any chocolate, unfortunately. But luckily, there's some chocolate here. There's a decent amount of chocolate here, actually. Which is very much appreciated and very much needed. Do I need to make it back to the ship? To the boat? Is that what's going on here? Kind of seems like it. Do I have to take anything out along the way? Wait, I can't go that way. What about over this way? What is that? Oh my goodness! That's a teddy bear with a rocket launcher on my tail. Alright. So, the question is... Do I... Try to take these guys out? Wow, so uh, no invulnerability or anything like that. I take just as much... I got hit twice there. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Lost four chocolate. Alright, um... So I've got two minutes left from here on. I guess I'll just hurry up. But they definitely... What? So from point blank, I got hit and just blown up right off the bat there. I guess it's good to know. It seems like their placement is at least consistent, so I can probably just turn the corner here and get ready to take him out. Yeah? If I, uh, if I can aim. Alright, now we'll turn the corner. Move a little bit more quickly. Are there guys back here? Yep, there are. I was, like, so close to him that I thought I would not have enough time to take out my own rocket launcher and kill him before he could kill me. So I was like, I'll just keep walking. And that way he'll miss. Turns out he didn't. Alright. Get you. And then there's gonna be a guy around the corner. Okay. Turn the corner. What? There's already a guy right there? Since when? Since when? Why does this make sense? Oh. Why do I have to, you know, stop, pull out my rocket launcher in anticipation? I'm basically memorizing where everything is via trial and error. So I know where I have to go to, to shoot and stuff. So we'll do that. Now we'll walk a little bit forward. That guy's not there yet. We'll take out our rocket launcher so we can turn the corner and be ready to go. I guess we weren't quick enough. I want to just, like, run for it. I just want to go. But it does not seem to be designed with that in mind. Alright, and... Take him out. Turn to the left, because apparently there's going to be a guy there now. And then we'll do this and probably expect another guy. Nope, not that I see yet. So, that's good news, I guess. Now there's a guy. I swear. <laughs> what even? I guess I needed to take a couple steps more forward to trigger him showing up. By the time I realized he was actually there, which wasn't even that long of a delay, he'd already blown me up. Alright, put the gun away. Walk over here, take the gun out. Get ready. Blow him up. Or miss, I guess, because he's hiding behind the lip of that ledge. Get a game over while the music is still playing, and then get right back into the action. <laughs> At the very least, I bet this is the final stretch. I mean, I, I have thought that in other moments, right? This is not the first time I've thought this was the final stretch of this world slash level, but... Alright, we'll do this. Come on. We got him. We'll turn this way. 
There's another guy waiting for us. Okay. Maybe I'll just walk around like this. Take a hit from the turrets. Just like at the ready. Super slowly. Just walk around. There it is. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm dead. I missed once. I'm dead. By the time you see somebody, if you try to shoot them with your rocket and you miss the first time, there's no way you're going to get out of the sight and put your gun away and jump or move out of the way in any meaningful manner. So, might as well just get ready for your next attempt. Alright, turn the corner. Nice trade there. We died, he died. Everybody's happy. Come on. I think that's like the only teddies <laughs> that uh, we were able to actually like buy a little bit of time with if we don't initially hit them right away. Alright, we're going to be ready to go as soon as we turn the corner. We are taking little hits here and there, and he shows up. Alright, we're, we are ready. Got him. Okay. We are staying extra vigilant. We are extra wasn't vigilant enough. I guess there was a guy who showed up to my right without me knowing it. But now we know he's there. So we're making progress. Slowly. Very slowly, but surely. wonder what's a good strategy for getting that guy. We missed. We're dead. At the very least, I like the atmosphere. You know, the kind of like shadows, the dark reds, the yellows, the nighttime ambiance. I think they did a really good job with the coloring and the, I guess, the design of this atmosphere. We missed. Come on. All right. We've still only got a minute and a half left, too. It's not a lot of time. Can't really dilly-dally by any means. All right, we're going to go over this way. We missed. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I missed again, trying to adjust and just fire as quickly as I could. And at this point, this episode has been like two hours long. What even? All of the other levels have taken me like not more than an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes. This one is taking quite some time. I'll make for an interesting amount of data when I'm finally getting the files already. We can just turn this way rather than even getting out of the sights. You guys see that? It's like, I miss once and it's like, all right, it takes forever. So might as well give up. But yeah, I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> Those of you that are experiencing Conkers, uh, it's out here now. My experience, my gameplay with it, it exists. This is what it looks like, unadulterated. Alright, and we'll get you. Nice, we'll turn this way, wait for you to pause. And we've got you. That'll be the new strategy, is just wait for them to stop. Alright, turn the camera, come on. And he showed up. And he stopped. So we got him, there's gonna be a guy to the right, who's already firing at us. Who's actually firing at us before I was even done with that other teddy. Okay, so... Maybe strategy change. I stay to the far right, and I try to trigger and then take out that teddy first. And then after that, I go to the one that's a little bit further that I initially turned to, but I think I should save for a little bit later. All right, let's hope we're far enough that we can get this guy reliably. Good, this guy's coming over here. Got him. All right, so we're gonna stay to the right a little bit here and see when this guy shows up. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I don't see him yet. Oh, there he is. And we get him? Nope. I couldn't see him because of the cracked glass on our helmet. But he's there. 
So that's good to know. I think just because visualizing him is pretty difficult, I am going to take... Um, I'm going to put my gun away, my rocket launcher away, before going to get him. So that I can get close enough. Is there just like, is there a reliable way to dodge these? I missed. And I'm dead. Maybe if these weren't just like instant kills, it would be somewhat manageable. I really want to try to just make a run for it again. I really do. Just once. Just entertain me, game, please. I really just want to make a run for it. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to happen. The game is forcing me to stop multiple times along the way and kill every single rocket man. Rocket Teddy that I encounter. Alright, well, I guess I'll focus a bit and hope for the best. Got you. And we got you. Alright, so I'm going to put the gun away so I can get a little bit closer to this guy first. He should be on in sight. Oh, we missed, we missed. Get out of the way. Nope, not enough time. So that at least bought me a little bit more time than the first time we tried to get rid of him. I thought I was lined up, but overcompensated vertically. Try it again. The new strategy. He's probably in sight now. Yes. We missed. Oh, we were over him. We shot too high that time. Oh, but it looked like our sights were lined up. It's like, why even Why even have lives? Why even have a game over? <laughs> if it's literally just going to be me mashing A to get back to this exact same point. All right. It's probably like take 12, 13. <laughs> I don't remember at this point. It's been quite a few. None have been edited out yet though. So I'm sure plenty of you are probably skipping this and understandably so. I don't know if I would want to watch this. What? How did that miss? All I can think of now is, to try to improve upon this strategy is to bait a rocket shot into the, um, I don't know, the cross jack here? <laughs> I don't know what that's actually called. What is kind of nice is that when I stop... Come on. Oh, I missed. Get out of there. The animation, I literally can't do anything. If I miss and I'm too close, they're already aiming at me. I'm dead. That's so obnoxious. But I was thinking I could try to bait some of the missiles to be fired into that wooden structure. And that would buy me some time to get closer to make, you know, lining up my shot a little bit easier. But I don't know how feasible that is. Nor do I know how much I really want to try a new strategy at this point. Just kind of stick with what I already have. Alright, so we'll get a little bit closer, pull out the rocket launcher, and aim, and we survived that. And that guy is already shooting rockets at us. Seriously? Seriously? Do you guys see that? Like, what What could I have done there? I at least confirmed that the wooden structures are protecting me, but what am I... What am I supposed to do there? The guy showed up. I was The whole point was to try not to activate him and instead get the other guy, right? So I want to try and get rid of all these guys so they're not, you know, hunting me down. But, but it just seems like there's so many of them. And they spawn really quickly. So I mean, like, I go over here. Let's see here. Aim. We got him. Good. And this guy's already firing at us, isn't he? Look at that. 
And he's moving really fast, too. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I tried to time it so that I'd have a window to attack him, but even if I do that, if I time that right, I only have one shot. I have to do it fast, and I only have one shot. Oh. We'll try it again, I guess. This structure here at least somewhat protects me. I'm too late, right? Okay, I'll get ready. And... Nope, I missed. I missed! I, I didn't even have much more time than that, honestly. Should I try around from the right as opposed to the left? I don't know. Maybe that'll be easier, because where my default cross sight is, I feel like I need to move pretty far down there. Like, I need to take the time to move my cursor down quite a bit, and that could be eating into the time that it takes for me, or the time that I have to not get hit by their attack, right? And so if that's what... Come on. And so if that's going to be really important, I should try to go to the right of it so I'm more on, you know, vertical, the same plane as it. All right, and we get it. I think we got it. Okay, cool. So let's regroup here for a moment. And he fires, and so do we. Oh, he missed. What? He missed twice. This must be a relative safe spot. All right, we are going to stay armed. This is the furthest we've made it, guys. This is progress. We are moving incredibly slowly. And now there are two of them? And they just spawn two right there. Guys, I don't even... If I could skip this, I would. If I could skip this, I would. I'm... You know what? I'm gonna just let you guys skip this. So this is a new strategy. I don't know if this is actually intended or not, but what? What did I get hit by? I don't know, but I guess I'm gonna hide here for now. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna step back a little bit. Hope that I don't die. I honestly feel like I'm dying every single time. <laughs> These explosions happen. I've really got to abuse these wooden structures here if I want to get past this alive. All right, and that timer is ticking and not, not my friend. Okay. Oh, so now that wooden structure blew up. We only have 13 seconds left. Is that it? Is that it? Oh my goodness, is that it? Come on, Conker. Oh my Gideon. Snipers. <laughs> get out of here now. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. We got to get our asses out of here, Prado. Let's move it. And we made it out. So I didn't actually even really skipping much. Maybe like 5 minutes or so of attempts. I made it. So we made it, and it looks like the key was those wooden structures more than anything. Oh, you're awake. Come over here, boy. I don't Come trust you anymore. Just gonna slap us over the head, knock us out. Yeah. What? 
that's a terrible thing, you know. You're right there. All these fine young men sent off to do the dying. Those big wigs, those pen pushers, those guys who never ever see a single bullet whiz past their heads. We want to get them down here. Those so-called generals in their big fancy houses, 20 miles behind enemy lines. Who are they to tell us? Who are they indeed? <laughs> a little off track, but not too bad. What a sight. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The horror. The horror. Shout out to that book. Oh, what was it called? Heart of Darkness? Oh no, Rodent, no! Yes. Not Rodent! Now I remember. Countdown. Oh, shit. I don't know if that vest is going to be enough for you, buddy. So down goes the Fort of the Teddies. And here comes Rodin. I recognize that voice. It's Rodin. He made it, guys. Yeah. Hey. Way to go. Ah, oh, hero. Yeah. He made it. <laughs> Sometime later. Alright, so it looks like things have more or less calmed down. We're alive and well, we've survived the war, and I'm absolutely going to call it here. <laughs> in the next episode, we'll head back to the central area, see what's going to happen in this episode. Oh my goodness, guys. So many cool concepts, funny cutscenes, really neat looking environments, uh, you know, funny enemies, and, and all that jazz, but... The gameplay is just not there, guys. The more and more, the more I play this game, I... It's just... I look forward to the next cutscene. I'm curious to see what the next environment is. I'm curious to see what the next joke is, right? What the next context-sensitive button is and what wackiness it brings. But everything in between is just... I don't know. I, I, I don't want to do it. But we're pretty close to the end. We've come this far. And I'm hoping that there's a rather redeeming finale. So... I hope you guys are looking forward to what's coming next. I don't know what that is, but I'd imagine we're getting pretty close to the end, so maybe we'll finally have a chance to maybe showdown with the Mad Scientist and the Panther, who I've really missed. Those were some of my favorite cutscenes. But until the next episode, this is Movie Night Zero, and this mission is complete.